Hello, it's me, Gaz, and Possible. I'm me, Gaz. My name is Taffrey16. Welcome to the 21st consecutive week of reading your comments. It's Thursday, so let's read some comments. The Mighty Boosh doesn't have any continuity. You should be fine watching episodes of it in any order. Okay, that's good. Because I never, I, you never know with some series. Maybe that'd be a good thing to tell me, uh, too, when you request a show, if you guys don't mind. Like, if, uh, well, you don't have to, but like, if, like, what, where would be a good place to start? You know, like, it would be good to start at the beginning, good to start anywhere, you know, a certain place. Like, people, a lot of people told me of men behaving badly, uh, to not start with the first episode because I guess there's a different actor and it was on ITV and it didn't get better, so that's why we're gonna start with the third season because that's when the show went to BBC. But yeah, uh, just, I, I, maybe let me know good places to start on shows. WrestleMania went from 10 p.m. to 5.30 a.m. over here. Jesus, yeah, that's right, I forgot. Oh my lord. Well, I mean, that, that's part of the reason, too, that they haven't had a pay-per-view in the UK since, like, shit, 01 or something. I think it was, like, Rebellion or something, because it's, it's the time difference is too much. But, I mean, well, I mean, if they were to start a pay-per-view at, like, 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. over there, it would be, like, where I'm at, like, 12 p.m. So I suppose it's not... So yeah, I suppose it's not that bad. I feel like 80% of Noah's viewers are 40 year old plus because a lot of these shows are talking about I've never heard of. Or maybe you're really young, who knows? Or maybe both. Uh, I honestly don't know though, because I they YouTube in their analytics gives me a gender ratio, like what gender watches my videos more. I think it's like 75% male or something like that. Uh, but I have no, no idea about age ratio. We need an extra special reaction for your 100th reaction video. I don't know what counts as extra special. I don't even know how many I've done, probably like Probably 80 plus, I don't know, but maybe. I honestly have no idea. To be honest, I'll probably forget when I get to 100. I'm not counting. Watch Father Ted and Crystal Maze uh, later episodes. Good bye. Um, okay. Anyway, but maybe, I don't know. Um, like I said before, the only sequels I'm really focused on are Doctor Who and The Inbetweeners because I don't want to clog shit up too much with sequels. If I were to do sequels of one of those, it would probably more likely be Father Ted than Crystal Maze, if I'm being honest. How about a reaction to classic British wrestling, world of sport from the 70s and 80s, it's on ITV and their matches on YouTube? That's not a bad idea, I actually didn't think of that, and if it's on ITV, I could definitely put it on YouTube. Um, yeah, maybe, I'll have to look into that. Seven and a half hours is shorter than watching the Lord of the Rings extended trilogy back to back. That's hardcore. That is true, those movies are long as shit. Imagine if you watched The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings trilogy back to back, that'd literally take you all day. Uh, has anyone suggested keeping up appearances yet? I can't remember if it was BBC or ITV. Has anyone suggested keeping up appearances yet? I I feel like I've seen the name of that show. Maybe. I'll look into it regardless. Brass Eye. I've seen Brass Eye. Uh, that was like five, six months ago. I don't remember. Again, if you guys ever want to know if I've reacted to something, just check the reaction videos playlist. It's uh, on my channel. It should be one of the pinned playlists at the front. If you scroll down, should be like the first playlist there but yeah you can see all the videos i've been react that i've reacted to in there would you ever do music reactions probably not to be honest i mean i'm not really uh i don't, I don't know if i'd be good at music reactions according to some people i'm not good at any reactions in general but it's, but i don't know if i'd be good at music reactions to be honest i don't know if i'd know what to do with that like would i should i listen to the song and say nothing and then give my thoughts after or should i pause during the song and say stuff i honestly don't know different people have different ways of doing it but the music reactions just also just doesn't seem like my thing, so probably not. But no, how do you not know how the Pope is elected? Isn't this a good Christian channel? Well, yeah, it is, but isn't the Pope Catholic? Why does BBC allow you to have their videos on Vimeo but not YouTube? Because Vimeo has no monetization, which means they have no copyright system, which means it's fair game. Because nobody makes money. I don't make money, they don't make money. With YouTube, it's either I make money or they make money, it's one or the other. But with Vimeo, it's nobody makes money, so it's fair game. My youngest daughter is 18 months old and gets super excited every time she sees Kitty on your videos. Could you get Kitty to wave to her, please? Her name is Eliza. Uh, make her day. Cheers, dude. Uh, as soon as she's better, I probably can. I don't know if I want to pull her out right now, just because she's got, uh, she had, uh, you've, I'm just looking at her right now. She's in the cat carrier. She's like half awake. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen my update videos on her, she had a surgery about five days ago to get two, two fab sets removed. Um, she has a drainer in her face, which is draining her gums because her gums were inflamed. Uh, so, actually today, technically, because it's, it's past midnight, it's 1230 in about, about say, no, eight hours, eight hours, about eight hours. I'm taking her back to the vet. I'm pretty sure we're getting a drain out of her face. I don't know if we're getting the cone out because I would hope so, but I don't know if we're getting the cone off because she might have to get stitches because again, the drainer literally goes through her face. So I imagine she'd have to get stitches. 
but I don't know. But I can probably take you up on that once she's better. Don't waste your time on Friday night dinner, it's crap. Well, I've got a lot of suggestions, so I'm gonna take my chances. You should honestly watch more of Father Ted's Absolutely Brilliantly Funny. Uh, it was one of my favorite TV programs growing up. I still enjoy it today. I would definitely enjoy it if you did more reaction videos to Father Ted. Again, I might. I The first video, I didn't expect to do that well. It, it got surprisingly good viewership. Um, what is it, like 15,000 views? Something like, I didn't expect it to do that well, but it did pretty well. And apparently I can do it on YouTube as well, so that makes it a hell of a lot easier than Doctor Who or in between her. So yeah, possibly, I'd be open. The Nazi episode of Father Ted is a masterwork. The Nazi episode, oh God, I can only imagine. Uh, maybe I won't have to imagine for long, maybe we'll end up seeing it. Guy that plays Father Ted died in 1998. Wow, really? I mean, I guess, I, I actually, I think I heard that's why the show ended, right? Because it had it ran from 95 to 98, and so it must have ended because he died. That's crazy. For reference, I was born in 98, so he might have died before I was born. I watched it on Vimeo, but at least Channel 4 is coming around to reaction videos. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get your hopes up on that. We might have just gotten lucky. I mean, you know, even a blind squirrel catches a nut every once in a while. But I mean, like, for instance, with Mock the Week, I maybe thought, oh, maybe BBC's turned the leaf because I was able to, you know, not get Mock the Week blocked. And then pretty much everything from BBC's been blocked since then. But I mean, you know. They'll throw me a bone every once in a while. Wait, is that a Star of David on his shirt? I think I know the shirt you were talking about. And yes, it was. I'm not Jewish, but it was to show solidarity uh, to the Jewish community in Pittsburgh uh, after the synagogue, synagogue shooting there in, I believe, October of last year. I have a lot of family uh, from Pittsburgh, and my grandfather sent me that shirt. So yeah, that's what it was for. Americans don't get Irish-British comedy, but I can say I don't get American comedies. It's so weak and seriously not funny. Have you, said, have you seen any of it? But I mean... To be honest, I, I feel like that's a predetermined opinion, just because I, I get that a lot. It's like, it doesn't seem like they watch a video, it's like, oh, he doesn't get it, or Americans don't get our comedy. It's it's almost like some of them do. I mean, if that's if that's your predetermined opinion you want to have, but it's like, I don't know, man, it's up to you. It's not a British sitcom, it's Irish, which is a separate country. Really, Irish is a country, had no idea. Uh, it was only commissioned by a UK channel. Yeah, that, that's, that's what I said. At the beginning, I said that at the, at the very beginning of the video, I said that I said it's a British made show, but it has Irish writers and a predominantly Irish cast. Sorry if I'm feeling sassy here, but it's like when I say something in a video, like I, I straight up say it and then like if I if I didn't get something or if I didn't say anything, feel free to correct me. But it's like I straight up did say something and I got it right. I was, I was literally reading it off the Wikipedia page, and then someone tries to correct me anyway. It's like, come on, dude. The motivation in I'm a Celebrity for food later is that celebrities only get food when they win the trials. They only get food, period, or they only get good food? Because I have a hard time believing that they would get starved if they lost the trials. The snakes in I'm a Celebrity aren't venomous, but celebrities do get bitten by them in almost every series. Okay, that's because I was talking about how I could, because they were lying in the snake pit. I was like, I could probably do that if they aren't venomous. I think, I think I, uh misclassify them as poisonous it's a different thing but uh but uh if they're not venomous i could probably do that and yeah, the bite would probably suck but my main concern would just be you know getting poison i'm watching this on the toilet what a time to be alive okay dad granddad granddad i'm surprised itv let you keep this on their channel they don't give a shit uh the thing about itv is again sometimes they do serve up worldwide blocks but i don't think i've ever filed a you all right kitty i don't think i've ever Ooh, big shake there. Did you guys hear that? Um, you probably did over the background music. She's did a big shake. Um, because the thing with ITV is sometimes I do block content and they always usually have copyright claims, but every time I've filed a fair use dispute against ITV, I don't think I've ever had it rejected. So yeah, they don't really care. What happened to men behaving badly? That'll probably be tomorrow. I think I'm having a reaction video tomorrow, right? Yeah, it's been four days. So yeah, I'll probably do that tomorrow. That woman passing out on the end was hated by all of us. She was really fake. We think she faked that horrible woman that's a yikes you know I was kind of thinking that maybe she was taken I didn't want to say anything because I didn't know for sure but like she fell like really fucking gracefully I identify as last comment you have to accept that well you're technically the last comment in this video so there you go all right you guys that's gonna do it for another episode of reading your comments I hope you guys enjoyed it pure usual pure usual didn't I do this last week Did I say pure usual last week Per usual, if you want to uh, get a chance to get your comment read next week, you can comment down below in the comment section. Uh, my name is Taffrey16. This has been Reading Your Comments. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, I stream every single day, my second channel for extended views, my Twitter if you want to follow me, my Patreon. Mm. 
almost got through that whole thing. My Patreon, if you want to support me, or my Vimeo, where you can see all the videos that have been blocked on YouTube. All those are in the description. Also in the description is linked to my schedule, where you can see what's getting posted on the channel every single day. But that being said, my name is Taffer 16. This has been another episode of Reading Your Comments. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.